right, so having had the overview lecture on the wounds, uh, we go on to talk about the types of wounds that we have. All right, I need to be fun because I think the types of wounds that we have on to, all right, that's basically what uh, this is a model classification of what wounds, okay? Every other type of wound actually what lies under the closed type of wounds and the open type of wounds. So for the closed type of wounds right now, let me see if I have it on the picture. It's an open wound. You see, it's a closed wound. So it's like this wound, but the problem is just internal. It's not actually coming out, okay? So, so that closed wounds are usually caused by blunt trauma, and they are generally what contusions or bruising, okay? Just like contusion could be that okay, yeah, there's bruise, there's some leakage of blood, but there's no accumulation of blood, like as in hematoma, and it's just internal. Do you understand? So, connective tissue under the skin is disrupted, leading to extraversion of blood, giving rise to what ecchymosis. Now, if there is what if there is no resolution, infection gradually occurs. That's what it means, right? There are bad open wounds. There are things like abrasion. Abrasion is that the superficial layers of the epithelium are lost. Now, if there is no secondary bacterial invasion, resolution occurs by epithelization of the skin appendages like the hair follicles, sebaceous gland, and sweat glands. Okay, the puncture wounds. Uh, we said that uh, this is an open injury in which foreign bodies or organisms are likely carried deep into the on, uh, underlying tissues. Now, in puncture wounds, little is seen on the surface, but remember that the ion is actually driving right into your body, okay? So now, um, little is seen on the surface, like for example, needle stick injuries, which is hazardous to medical staffs and mem members of the public. In the community due to what improper disposal all right now diseases that could be transmitted our hiv hepatitis b hepatitis c exposed individuals are put under surveillance and given prophylaxis these are basically types of drugs that will help to like protect your body before time of an infection so hiv tests are performed at the time of accidental injury at three months or six months after the injury all right so you see this is the puncture wounds that we've been talking about all right so um standing on the nails or metal standing on broken glasses standing on turns all right all this can actually what result to puncture wounds and treatment is by irrigation of the wound tentanous pro, uh, prophylaxis like tentanol toxoid and what anti I'll take over. So this is just an overview. I'll be taking all those types of wounds, abrasion wounds, contusion, hematoma. Uh, all of them will be making videos on them, right? So see you guys pretty soon.